Thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Radio Show, a once proud member of the now defunct Even Tide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. The amazing Adrian Miller is in as guest co-host. We talk about sketch comedy and variety shows with two of Dayton's finest, Jesse Nutt and Keith Irvin. If you enjoy the show, like and follow the Life 1069 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter. Or tune in live on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM. Or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. A brutal presence overwhelms me. A brutal presence overwhelms me. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome to the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith. We are back. We survived. The holidays, I did not know if we would be back in the studio or not, but we're here. We made it. Everybody's playing with their phones still. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. It's, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, a, it's, it's been a month. It's been a month. <laughs> I'm rusty as far as a live show is concerned. Because like, like I said, almost, uh, I, I was almost not going to be here. But we made it. We survived. We, uh, we're, we're there. We made it to the 20s. We made it to the 20s. The 2020s. We... And yeah, it's, uh, I'm just glad 2019's over. Cause that was a crap yes. year. That was just a crappy year. And, uh, here we are. Yeah. Not like, not like 1919. Right. We're ni- ni- 1919 was we're, we're 1920. 19, We've gone from yeah. like, you know, suffrage and the roaring and fun 20s. things, the end of a there world war. There was plenty of suffrage last year. Yeah, just that's true. Yeah, there was a different, the different kind. Different yeah, kind. Different it's kind of suffrage suffer. the way that Ohioans pronounce it. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Got a lot of suffrage. Yep. Uh, Adrian Miller is my guest co-host. Hello, hello. Back again for yeah. more. Yeah, I, think, I think you ended out the last year with. The, oh, did I? That's it, right. I, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I, can't, I can't. It's all a blur. I, you know, really. I drink a lot, Adrian. I drink a lot. Yeah, I don't know what my excuse is. Uh, I think I just slept a lot. Okay. <laughs> I think I just was constantly like, "Wake me up when it's the new year." There you go. There you go. And my guests, my first guests, are in the studio already. Jesse Nutt and Keith Irvin. Yo. Not Keith Urban. Not Keith Urban. We Sorry have to <laughs> disappoint the country fans out yeah. there. Everybody yep. turn their radios on. Yeah, there, there are people watching Facebook Live or adjusting their screens <laughs> right. wondering why. Because we have him ain't listed nothing, as Keith Urban. Ain't nothing wrong with this fun. color. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what's happening, Keith? Jesse, it's, it's been a, at least a couple days since I've seen you. Right. I know. Yeah. Well, we didn't have the same enjoyment that you guys had of the 1919s. I wanted to just put that out there. I'm him. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, the that's only reason we weren't yeah. getting shot as much is you were using muskets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only change right. that we've noticed in 100 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Banana clips. Oh, that's what those are used for. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But, yeah, we're, we're doing good. We're, uh, well, I'll speak for me. I'm, uh, I had a good like, 2019. Uh, excited for what's coming in 2020. That. That's for sure with Mr. Jesse Nutt here. So nah, hopefully make some magic happen in Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Well, we'll see. About yeah. What, what, what do you have happening? Let's, uh, let's, we'll just, we'll just fire right into it. What's, what's going on there with you, with you? What, what do we got going on? What? I mean, as far as coming up, what's <laughs> your show, your show. show. That's what I'm All talking right, about. Yeah. yeah. We're perfecting our time machine. Hmm. Excellent, mm. excellent. And what we're going to do You're going to go gonna back go to 1919 back, back and to 1990. write some wrongs. <laughs> and, and write some wrongs. We're actually going to go back with rice aroni and corner the market. Nice. Because right. Right. Nice. it's a peaceful, non-threatening product. And we're going to become like billionaires. And that way we'll own all of San Francisco, San Jose. So when like the tech people come and oh. they, they're like, ooh, we want to live everywhere and, and run the rents up to like three million a month. We're like, no, because yeah. we've got the rights around here. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from That's or why right. I did it. I'd like to apologize to all six people who are listening to this. Right. Uh, other I'm than just the ones say in the studio, I'm a, I am Which is so funny. There are sorry. exactly six people watching <laughs> on Facebook Live right now. It's all. See? I didn't, oh, wait. Am I one of them? Probably. Okay, look, I know probably. we two of them are. Two of them are in here. Because I was, I was sharing it. I was that's, trying to be a good guest host. That's part of my autism spectrum. I know numbers, honey. I know, I know how people. Yeah, are. Without you know even looking, you just knew. Money futures. You had the, the sense that that's who. That's how but many no, we're, people were listening. We're, we did well. We did like, I don't know what you call it, what a marathon day in the studio last month. Yeah. 
um, mm. yeah. shot like he was keeping Keith was keeping track of the number of sketches. I think it was like ten to twelve anyway. Yeah, easy, well, easily ten to twelve sketches that we just shot with different comics, Random. a lot of talented people in the area. Uh, we're gonna try and do it again here soon, and you know, slog through that, figure out a ten sketches. We probably got, I don't know, thirty seconds of funny. Oh well, yeah. yeah. For yeah, those right. who don't know, what's uh, what's what's your show about? What is it called? What is it about? It's called Comedy Showcase. Make me laugh. <laughs> and it's a variety. I, we want it to be a variety type talk show where because I, I was on that once. But, you, yeah. No, you were on uh, Comedy Eighty Easy. Oh, I thought I was already on the on the. Comedy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. were my first guest on yeah. Comedy Showcase. Make me laugh. That's right. Because we. Yeah, that's well. The first guest, yeah, yeah, guest yeah. is always pretty. Yeah, you never made Comedy famous. Comedy Eighty Easy. <laughs> I, that I keep hearing about. Yeah, but it was called <laughs> Make Me Laugh. That's why I was never invited back. I I, yeah. I failed. I failed miserably. But no, like Don, we bring guests in sometimes, or, or I will shoot, or we'll go out and shoot a uh, comic that's appearing at some of them Wiley's deserve it. Some or, of them deserve it. Yeah, and I and I'll implement <laughs> that in with PSAs, and uh, like I said, now we got skits, so I can throw skits in there. We'll have guests come in to the studio and do ten minutes of what they got going on, kind of like here, and uh, just try to make a thirty-minute enjoyable. You know, show out of it. So it's anarchy is what we're trying to tell you. Yeah. It is pure perfect, perfect. Yeah. anarchy. Because it's the first time it, yeah, we're doing it with with these skits, so yeah, it it so, should yeah. be fun. We'll do it live. Yeah, I mean we've got. Oh, you do, do, it live. You do, you no. do the sketches live. That that would be more fun. Yeah. It was. It be, was you know, yeah, I would love to do. It, it would live. be disastrous, but it would be oh, great. of course. Because yeah. I mean, th- have you ever listened to this show? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Total disaster. That's yeah. why I love doing it live. It's all over the place. Come on. Well, well it of, is what it is. is what, it, what kind of PSAs have you had? Uh, I do local PSAs like uh, Cisco. I do uh, mm. uh, suicide prevention, just different uh, messages. So are those comedy too? Like no, no, no. These you are, know, do you ransom dogs? Do you put a gun to a dog's head and you, well, you're like, <laughs> you know, and you're like, I'm sorry. I can't speak uh, on it. Thanks, court, Ray. court date pending. I can't speak on it. People, <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> I'm just yeah. trying to think, like, this are pretty heavy topics. <laughs> I'm like, how can we comedy it up? Right. Yeah, I forgot to mention that Ray Jackson is hanging out in the yeah, studio, too. He's over Ray. on the couch over there uh, commenting on our Facebook live feed <laughs> that right. we suck. So, <laughs> Link, you guys suck. <laughs> Don't quit your day jobs. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, I can't either because I What's work day nice. Job? Yeah, you don't even have a day job. <laughs> right. Your day job is sleeping. That's... Yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When I can. Yeah. yeah. I think PSAs can be fun, but I think, you know, you, you got to be real careful whenever you're, you know, parroting um, something that, you know, usually is pretty important. You know, mm. like, like, you know, suicide prevention, things like that. Right. You want to you wanna really play it down the middle, but, you know. Now, if we were to get one about, um, say, don't fart in an elevator, which that's a public See, service and, and announcement. That, and we can do that. That's said, a public I, service announcement. I think everyone has, you know, let's, let's, let's you know save people let's save dogs let's save water i don't know save whatever but you, no one has you guys have to point closer to the elevator. mic when you're right yeah sorry <laughs> too far away. that's all right that's all right i should know we were, better. we're trailing I'm, off like you guys are walking I'm, away from the show i'm trying to be which engaging I don't with blame the guests you, but <laughs> well <laughs> it was that obvious we were wheeling back we're just, we're just, like, uh, do you think maybe he notice won't you? notice if he just turns we're around we're just trying we'll to match the vibe of the that. listeners <laughs> <laughs> they're just right. all tuning in and then trailing yeah. <laughs> trailing uh well uh, let's on watch <laughs> Uh, thanks again, Ray. I'm going to love your commentary throughout this show. This is going to be. It's going to be. <laughs> I, I look like a uh, broke Grizzly Adams stand-in. So and that which one is pretty them? close. Which, which is pretty close. No, that's just a general statement. <laughs> 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 so anyway, back to you guys' show. When when can we see it? When does it air? It's, <laughs> it's, uh, that's the fun part. It's uh, it's <laughs> on when it's scheduled. Oh, okay. we uh, we don't have a scheduled spot yet. Because we're still working on it. This so. is a very French show. So yeah. it will be on when it's on. Yeah, we, right, we right. We're going to tell you when it's on. Which it makes that much more of a special moment. when you Of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Be like, oh, snap. Comedy yeah. Showcase is <laughs> I on. I no idea. <laughs> huh. It's more like a special, special. Wake well, mom right. up. Yeah. <laughs> it's only for special people to see the special. Yeah. yeah. And, and sometimes, yeah. and it's, I try not to uh, mess with the, uh, the, uh, the language. So we're mostly on after hours. 
You know what I mean? Like if I like I shot Ray uh, in Cincinnati, his set, and I put it on there, so dirty. it has to be shown right, after right. the kids go to bed. So instead of trying you know to go up and down with it, yeah, they I ain't just, going to bed. They, mm-hmm. I just they're probably not staying up late to watch DATV. Let's be well, I, really? <laughs> what? No, 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 I bet they you they might, are. They might. I'm just saying, I'm not Denzel, but I can. Sure you were. Sure you were. Sure you were. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, it's it's getting it's getting uh, dirtier. Is what that, you can do? Is it? TV is that so line is? I, I mean, think basic cable's totally cleaned up. Not on the radio because they tried to kick me into the uh, late night. <laughs> yeah, that's cable. Mm-hmm. Really, the FCC is thinking about getting rid of indecency laws. Sure. Okay. Well, they should. They should. They'd have less to do that way, and we could fire a lot of them. That'd be great. <laughs> well, yeah, they ain't gonna give up their job. I mean, corporations no, that's, that's are more the powerful thing. anyway. What's well, that? Corporations are more powerful anyway. That they they're the ones. I mean, cable. You sit there and say, "Is it clean? Is it not clean?" And cable doesn't have to follow the same rules. Right. Yeah. They're but, right. Right. but they still keep. They still have standards and practices. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's what's of weird. Advertisers is basic. Even basic cable. It used to be that you could cuss on basic cable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you heard profanity yeah, pretty much any time on basic cable. Then all of a sudden, basic cable became ubiquitous, and it cleaned up. It went to standards and practices mm-hmm. where, you know, they're bleeping a-hole. I mean, that's that's a bleep. Yeah, we've discussed that on this show. And we, a-hole, unfortunately, yeah. is a bleep on the yeah. Right. Well, they bleep but, the a, but yeah, okay, I'm going to give away my churchiness. Sorry. But, <laughs> okay, you, you'll debate that one. Some movies you'll bleep it, some you won't. But GD, you'll let that fly in a mm-hmm. movie. Yeah. You'll bleep a hole, but you will let the Lord's name get taken in vain every time, all day long. <laughs> okay, so I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not. And whether you're not, you're a Christian. I mean, you know, there's a little respect for a deity, right? You know, because well, look at it. Hey, I could be wrong, so let's just keep everybody on our side. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Well, I think it shows. You know, if money is where people's mouth is. Then I think that says a lot about America and their 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 values. Because on the one hand, explicitly, it's like, okay, we're all about God and country and all that. But when it comes to money, which is what standards and practice is about, it's about will this affect a person's ability and their desire to buy, you know, Aquafina, fine water, Aquafina. Oh, we and have to edit all that. I'm you can <laughs> label out <laughs> Aquafina, label out. the preferred drink of the Life Radio Show. Uh, yeah, but if you, but if you use God's name in vain, right. they're like, it doesn't make a difference. No. These people will buy, you know, they'll still buy our Aquafina, right. but you know what? They get, they get their panties real in a bunch. If you say, you know, let her hole, you know, and then that's, and it's like, that has nothing to do with anything that's in the Bible. If that's, if that, and, they, and you could say, oh, it's about kids and whatever, but, but let's be honest, historically it's about church people. Uh, and them and church church folk wanting to you know regulate, you know the what's on the airwaves for the oh god the children, the yeah, children. Do. You don't even have any kids. What are you talking about? I know. I guess you know. I'm they just, paid alimony in three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 one of those people that grew up in the church. Yeah, it's always a challenge, you know, to try and be funny in the context of a clean environment like a church setting or that kind of environment or even now in in just basic general culture general mm-hmm. comedy is mm-hmm. i wouldn't necessarily say it's it's tilting toward clean but it's tilting away from a certain attack comedy right, um, right. a a ooh look at them let's mock them it, we're 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 really steer i think a lot of people are steering away from that and I mean that's fine because I'm still going to oh look at that man you <laughs> right, that, that's right. messed up but <laughs> I think there's now room for you know a lot more when it comes to that and they're and they're making their they're making their voices heard that no I don't want the insult comic I don't want the right. um, I don't get my comedy from making other people feel bad right you know mm. I want I want the tide to lift all boats so. I mean, have you noticed, um, I, I, this is just me, I don't really watch broadcast TV, so someone correct me I if do. I'm wrong. Okay, so thank you, thank you. Yeah. Oh, 
please tell me about the broadcast world. Because I, I always notice, like, one of the biggest shows right now is, like, the masked singer. singer. Like, the. Yeah. Like, okay. So, like stuff that has look, no I can, politics. Uh, I'm going to summarize broadcast TV for you. Okay. Have you heard that out in the Pacific Ocean, there's this huge floating pile of garbage? Yeah, the gyre. Right? Yeah. You've the heard of that? Batch. That's broadcast TV. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. All right. Mm-hmm. Keep avoiding it. Yeah. Right. I've been stuck in it for years. <laughs> That's why I watch. You can come to streaming no, or, I you know, you can I'll have, go to I'd, the YouTube. I'll bring all those tabs and, and empty milk cartons with me and it would just be ugly. No. But, no, like, yeah, The Mass Singer, which I refuse to watch. This is stupid. The only reason I would show. watch it is if they tell me those masks aren't ventilated and there's a chance <laughs> one of them will pass yes. out. Okay? And that they would, would just great. sing, yeah. hyperventilate, and pass out. And then if I could bet on it, yeah, I would Or if, like, every third the one was inside the suit. coated with, really like, has LSD. In there that That's what I'm saying. They would be yeah. singing. I mean, really getting into it. And I'm 10. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. That would be great. Perfect. Okay, and it's on Fox. Yeah. They would show that. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. They absolutely. would absolutely. I would watch that, but I'm not gonna watch the mass singer. That's just stupid. I saw another one that was like some girl's name's playlist, secret playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and me and my boyfriend were just like, what? what? Gonna be a hit. It's gonna be a hit. And it's it's just that she can she can read people's minds, but how it manifests is clips from popular pop songs. So suddenly be like, everybody starts dancing, right. but it's the most, and just the way it's shot, it's like yes. the most milk toast. Like, I, it's like, I just found out that my best friend is secretly in love with me. And I'm like, <laughs> and it's like, and he's like, I'm a sucker for you. What the? And I'm like, well, how cliche. And it's like your hot male best friend is secretly in love with you but and you're now, all in your 20s. Oh, no. Here's the best part. <laughs> Remembering. That for this show that you have already decided you hate to get as far as it has. Oh, I know. They want the clip. Teams of people who make six figures, I know. who have Ivy League educations, I know. who make Thank the you. decisions about what's funny, have already said, it's going to be a hit. I went to Yale, and this is what America wants. <laughs> and you're like, really? I'm glad your parents paid for that education at Yale or it's Harvard. It's the infinite playlist. It's going to be a hit, baby. You know what? It's like they're so far removed from real people. It's like these Yale, Harvard people trying to picture what a normal person. That's, and that's what it feels and, like. And, and, it feels hey, like they're like, no what diss. are normal people? Hey, no diss to Ivy League. Definitely. We're not trying to diss. We're not trying to diss. But you guys did, you know, you horned your way in to comedy, <laughs> you know, with your, little, with your little pinky in the air. And <laughs> you're not that funny. Just, let's, let's just get down with the get down. You're not that funny. <laughs> All right, I put any group of Dayton crew up against any group of y'all at any stand up anywhere, anytime. Yeah, I I threw the gauntlet down. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Well, so I, there, I don't think go, the, the Ivy League type <laughs> of people us. have not seen enough adversity to actually write a good joke. Yeah, yeah you, I gotta be broke. you have to have yeah. some pain. <laughs> you do have to be broke at some point in your life. Exactly. Exactly. You know, to yeah. to, to find the funny in right. everything. Yeah. Well, like I mean, I was I since I had to do all this. <laughs> you pull out there? your research tome of research for Shemp. <laughs> awesome. Shemp Howard of Three Stooges. Oh, do we got some? We got some oh, hot comments. Uh, you surprised? Come on. You knew that was coming. <laughs> What's going on? You knew that was coming. What's uh, going no. on? No missiles, <laughs> rockets. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. politics. Yeah. No, no. I, I think we upset somebody, and I think Yale launched a scud for the <laughs> Oh well, Yale. <laughs> They're like, where's Wright State? Maybe they'll send it to Washington to yeah. State, and we'll be safe. They're like, which WSU? It's too late. I, I too thought late. he was Sorry, showing Washington. you that we just lost Aquafina as a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I love her music. We're getting... <laughs> and I saw her in that new movie. She's great. Yeah. I know. One I need to see that singers, movie. Uh, the, um, the, what, the Farewell. The who? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She She's just really won good the award, that. and I heard it's oh, great. Oh, did she won? I just saw, yeah, she won the Golden, Golden Globe. Globe. Yeah. Good for her. Good I'm for her. like, good. I... I just saw the trailer and I wanted to cry because I don't, maybe because I've lost both, all my grandparents at this point, but like, like it's, it's just, movie. yeah. And it's based on the, the writer director. It's based on her real experience, which they were like, we're going to go back to China. By the way, your grandmother's dying, but we're not going to tell her that what? we're planning a wedding uh, for one of your relatives uh, in the mainland uh, to sort of, so we can all get together. That's our excuse. So she won't catch on, but we just want her to be happy in her last days. 
and oh, yeah, her as an American born person is like, chance, what? Bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> we got a chance. Comedy oh, I'm show. telling you. Done, man. <laughs> they show us stuff like that. We get, we're going. We got a shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as soon as these kids get edited. I'm uh, telling you, man, so, we got a shot. So March, we are going to be. <laughs> yeah. At least March. 2021, <laughs> when it, we launch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, if, if people know when it airs. That's <laughs> yeah. We well, already it that, airs that. when it <laughs> airs. <laughs> It's, you need yeah, to yeah. okay. Why you work for I the police? Why are you so interested <laughs> in when our show is right. on the air? Don't worry I, about it. I don't know. I'm trying to help people. See don't worry it. about it. You know, if I knew, don't worry about it. I I forget. Worry about your show. That makes it really exclusive. That's that's. Yeah, worry well, about yeah. your show. I think that's that's but like see that, lining up and having about the rope and the could, bouncer out. It could to be keep people it could be like the Rolex. Of, mm -hmm. of 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 cable access comedy shows mm -hmm. because it's so exclusive because we can't even tell you when it's mm -hmm. on. If you ask, you obviously won't get it. You, you wouldn't have, get our jokes if you'd ask. You should create, market yeah. comedy. create a newsletter right. and call it the VIP list. It's the like a, it's like a there really expensive See? restaurant where they don't have the prices on there because if you have mm -hmm. to ask, ask can't you can't afford it. Afford it. Yes. And, and if you have be, to know yeah. when this show is, you don't need to watch We would be it. serving trash to yeah. We cannot tell you that. <laughs> now, do you want the avocado toast or don't you? Yep, I, I won't ask again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, real, up. real quick, just to shut somebody up. Hi, Nathan Makeley. How's it going? He's just <laughs> he's just messaging and messaging. He wants his name out. There. Oh, now we okay. Got okay. Uh, he's I listening mean, that's probably on, yeah. what this show is hey, about. Is exactly, exactly. Names so just out bumper, there. stomper, Why bumper, not? boo. Yeah. You know, if you want us to say a day? name on the air. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. So there, now, now we've done it. We can then move somebody's on. listening. See, that's great. Right, right, right. Yeah. don't deserve that much He doesn't have a top fan that's true that's true mm, gotta get, get that your top, top fans. fans badge you'll get more shout outs yeah that's, that's, that's true. how that it works true. How, that's how the that's internet true. works hi autumn hatch your house <laughs> that's a top fan popular. right there yeah <laughs> so on the show so you so keith you do you're you're like doing all the hats you have a stack of hats yeah on your head stack of hats. So under that get... hat right now you have right well it's camo that's his camo right hat. right now I'm, I'm 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 shouting out to vince morris wearing his wearing his stuff but no, I'm the director. I produce it. Uh, I edit. Uh, if we go out on scene, I'm, Camera. I'm the cameraman, mm -hmm. sound man, and I'm learning. I've, I didn't go to school for this, so this is all. It is what it is, and yeah. I, you know, of course, I've gotten a lot better since. Yeah, since you've, you've been this since you've been doing those for a little while. Yeah, I think I started. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the so, comedy way. How's it going, Ray? Hey, What's Ray. going on? Ray, Ray, no. Ray Jackson, everybody. <laughs> hey, Ray. Hey, good to see you. Your is here. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but, yeah, so yeah. we uh, we just try to just try to bring entertainment to, to uh, local access television. You know what I mean? Because they don't have a lot of comedy. Yeah, it's the thing that shows on there. They have very little of. Well, I mean, they've I don't got think they have anything comedy on there right now. An overwhelming number of you know, so many church shows. You actually had to split and right. get your own church channel, which is totally cool. Yeah, they got that. Should yeah. tell you again in Dayton, we believe in two things: heroin and Jesus. We <laughs> love Amen. them both, Amen. and that's great. But, Amen, and and love you, know, Lord. Love, me up. love, love your me Lord up. and Pastor Strong. Love me up. So right. opiate of the masses and opiates. Hey. And, and, <laughs> we got all the faces. And, and don't hold back. Don't hold back now. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but look, I, I guess the, the way I look at it is I think that there was so much talent. And there always has been so much comedy talent in the area. and But you didn't see it reflected in what was coming across in, in the cable access shows. Right. And in a lot of other cities – this has ended up being a platform for a mm. lot of up-and-coming mm -hmm. filmmakers, up-and-coming stand-ups who got comfortable just doing cable access, getting comfortable in front of the, mm -hmm. you know, um, right. in front of the camera, getting comfortable behind the camera, figuring out what you can and can't do. Right. Mm. You know, just from logistics and, and honestly, who you can get to show up. Show yeah. up. Right. That's right. the biggest. Okay. The... Uh, Thank you, Tom Hanks, once again. <laughs> Okay. Just show up on time. <laughs> show up yeah. on time. But but it, you know it, it's it was trying to I guess create a vehicle where there's all these different ways that people can showcase and shine and do their thing. And there's tons of funny people, and 
got some funny ideas. Um, because I still want to do the game show blunt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We yeah. got a game show where basically the contestants have to smoke a whole blunt <laughs> and then answer questions. And the more you smoke, the harder the questions. So by the end of the game, you're answering stuff like, What is your name? <laughs> and that gets more difficult. Yeah. No, nope, yeah, no absolutely. blunt will be harmed in this in this shooting. <laughs> so really? Oh, okay. You yeah. won't actually okay. Well that takes well, no, no. <laughs> You just have to announce it that way. Yeah, okay, shooting. gotcha, gotcha. The magic of TV. Right. Yes. Kind of like I don't own the rights to this song, but I'm going to play it any damn way. Right. <laughs> I th- is that how it works? You can play whatever you want so long as, as, long as you say you don't own the rights that. to okay, it. Yeah, that's, don't own the rights to it. <laughs> I don't own the rights to any of it. <laughs> right. I don't own the rights to this show. Five, five years. January 9th is going to be our five-year anniversary. Here, here. Wow. Congratulations. Whoa. Yeah. Which gift is that? Uh, I think so, yeah. two before. <laughs> <laughs> and the six years with a nail on the end of it right exactly yeah and just hit a little harder but no it's uh yeah. five years i started out uh my first guest was uh the at the time uh new general manager of wiley's uh aaron evans okay was the ah, first I remember guest that. i ever had on and the show yeah it's been that's been five that's years been five years yeah, ago yeah man, man. crazy <laughs> And I can't believe, like I said, we were real close to getting kicked off, kind of. <laughs> Man. And but look we at didn't. you now. We survived. We Man, survived that's a, that, for at that least another show. Like a whole universe away. Well, yeah. 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 Well, I think, you know, what you're saying, Keith, though, is I think that's what I call the stand-up mentality, which is, you know, you just just go do it. Right. That's, what, yeah, that's why I live. And, right. and you I mean, do it I'm as like... many times as it takes. You just learn as you go. Mm-hmm. And you fail a lot. And you get things, magical things happen that come together somehow. And you're like, right. okay, how do we make the magical things happen yeah. more? Make the right, the and that's why so make, make the less. failures a little bit <laughs> the less. Trash, yeah. The trash dumpster fires. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's why I'm trying to get more people involved to get more feedback and more ideas on how to do things. You know, what hit, I mean? hit me up. Talk I have Jesse spare time on, every you know now I mean? and then. Well, and, <laughs> and the weird part is, okay, like stand up really is very solitary you know mm-hmm. and that right. most people mm-hmm. write alone you might have a writer's group but for the most part you write alone mm-hmm. yeah whereas making sketch comedy making tv making film that's collaboration right, right? Mm-hmm. so it's a real different it, it's it, it's been a transition for me i'll admit you know working with other comics but yeah it's dope it's yeah. real dope and especially when you get stuff because yeah he can make the magic happen the green screen getting the camera angles and all that it's dope man it's just yeah. And again, it's a, just another avenue to another, yeah, to get you out there. Mm-hmm. You know, if if your goal is to let the world know that you're funny, right? Come on, what you waiting on? Yeah, you got a mm-hmm. you got a free spot on TV to you know, yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah. you don't know who's watching. I, if I'm not mistaken, I oh, think, you know who's watching? Yeah, Mer- yeah. well, my mom, but that, you know, eh, I'm her boy. She's gonna watch. Yeah, we just don't know when we're watching. Right? She she <laughs> knows. <laughs> Because I wake her, because I wake her up, Mom. I'm on TV. Just remember, okay. I, and this one I always love at the end of the year when YouTube does their list, the top ten yeah. people who made the most money, and the little kid is always number one. The little kid, the only thing he does is unwrap toys. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's, that's it. That's all he does. Made twenty six yeah. million dollars last year. Twenty six million dollars. He has a staff of ten. I hate that kid. <laughs> I love that kid. I absolutely love that kid. Okay. Good. That tells you right there. Mm. Don't worry about the quality. Right. Okay. Just figure out the quirkiness. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's all it takes is just figure out the quirkiness. You hit that bell just right. You you get more cowbell. America loves you. Mm -hmm. Sign the checks and keep it moving. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to have to hit the comedy rundown. We're going to take a little break uh, because that's what we do. It's, It's time time to do that so uh, th- here's this week's comedy rundown brought to you by the legendary wiley's comedy club at 101 pine street in dayton's historic oregon district call 224 joke or go to wiley's comedy.com for all the best in dayton comedy tuesday january 7th tonight open mic at peaches grill at 104 Zenia avenue in yellow springs that show starts at 8 p.m there's also an open mic tonight at the growler pub at 3808 wilmington pike at 8 p.m uh, Wednesday, January 8th, open mic at Mila's Suburban Cafe at 606 Taywood Road in Englewood at 7 p.m. There's also an open mic Wednesday at the uh, South Park Tavern at 1301 Wayne Avenue. That show starts at 9 p.m. 
Thursday, January 9th, open mic of the Spirited Goat at 118 Dayton Street in Yellow Springs. That show starts at 7 p.m. There's also a new open mic at the Star City Brewing at Star City Brewing at 319 South 2nd Street in Miamisburg from uh, 7 to 10 p.m. And an open mic at the Barrel House at 417 East 3rd Street from 830 to 11. Also on Thursday night, the open mic at the Hookah Bazaar at 958 Patterson Road. That show starts at 10 p.m. Uh, Friday, January 10th, Vince Morris and Brock Shank are going to be at Mila's Suburban Cafe at 606 Taywood Road in Englewood. Uh, Friday through Sunday, January 10th through the 12th, Chris Porter is at the Dayton Funny Bone at 88 Plum Street at the Green. And Friday and Saturday, January 10th and 11th, Derek Zhu is at Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in the Oregon District. Our good friend Karen Jaffe, who was supposed to be on the show tonight and ended up canceling on me. And we got you guys, so we're Scheduling. good. Uh, Karen Jaffe is going to be featuring uh, this weekend at Wiley's. And, of course, Sunday, January 12th, Wiley Sunday Comics is back at Wiley's Comedy Club, so get out and support our local stand-up, uh, our local op- up-and-coming stand-up comics. I will get this out. It's been a month. Uh, that is it. As always, check out Wiley'sComedy.com and DaytonFunnyBone.com for details and tickets to upcoming shows. And I don't know if we still have a mi- oh, mic on Monday. Is it the, at the Barrel in Springboro? Do we still have that or no? Don't uh, think I know so. he's or got one coming door, up. I'm not or, sure if, it's, yeah. if he's doing a monthly well no there used weekly. there used to be a weekly open mic at the barrel oh, on was? mondays and then uh uh rupert would do the uh monthly show on thursdays at the barrel oh Which, i don't yeah, know i'm that. not sure what's going on with that so uh yeah forget i even mentioned it all right we're <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and take a break i'm gonna play some uh saint mary saint michael this is no one else all right I saw you standing right there before me. I tried to think of clever things to say, but I settled for how long. Then I knew you were the one. God himself placed here for me I know it's said all the time But I, well I don't care It's how I feel It's all cause there is no one else That I want by my side There is no one else Holding through the night There is no one else Things seem alright And you make the good things even better There is nothing that could seem so important When I am thinking of you Yeah, now when I look into your eyes Well, all I can see is my life Well, I can't help but get excited Where we'll be It's all cause there is no one else That I want by my side There is no one else That can hold me through the night No, there is no one else That can keep me strong but you Throughout the good times and the bad May not always like you, but I'll always be glad to have you by my side. Hey, 
Hey, this is Don Smith from the Life Radio Show. Do you like telling jokes? Are you the class clown? Do your friends always tell you you're funny? You want to prove them wrong? Well, nearly every Sunday, Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in Dayton's Oregon District brings you Wiley's Sunday Comics. You can be the one on stage making people laugh or not. All you have to do is send an email to WileySundayComics at gmail.com and follow the instructions in the reply email and you can tell jokes at Ohio's oldest comedy club. I was talking to this one woman for a little while, and like, uh, this is just does not code for anything. I don't do good, obviously. You've seen me up here, right? <laughs> you hear me talk? Like, you know, <laughs> she's like, I'm still friends with 85% of my ex-boyfriends. And all I could think is 85% requires a divisor of at least 20. <laughs> That's... That is as far as you can break that fraction down right there. It's like 17 over 20, 85%. What if she meant like 34 out of 40 or 153 boyfriends out of 180? I don't care how you break it down. She's had way too many dudes in her denominator. That's Enough is enough! I have had it with these Nickelodeon snakes on this Nickelodeon plane. I love reverse and curse words like that. That's <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith, sitting in with my guest co-host, Adrian Miller, all the way over there. Hello. Hi, Adrian. Hello. Uh, we Hello. also uh, still have uh, Keith Irvin and Jesse Nutt in the studio with us. Hello. And Hello. Ed Hello. John listening in. Ed John is, uh, mm-hmm. we, we've missed you, Ed. <laughs> Not really. Uh, <laughs> And don't make fun of the music. My cousins are sitting on the radio in front of the radio listening. Eating the are listening. Eating too, so. <laughs> and that wasn't a racial statement. Dave. What's that? And, and that wasn't a racial statement because they're eating chicken wings. That's... Oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I don't know if I had to. I don't, I don't make assumptions. I, I don't. I don't. I try not to. It never does me any good. It never does me any good. <laughs> Oh, uh, should we should we hit some news stories? Are we ready for news stories? Are we prepared? Are we psyched up? Ready okay. to go? All okay, right, Jesse. me neither. No okay. big well, word this time, please. Jesse I'll has try. his ready for news face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's. We're actually going to start in Pennsylvania. No way. Uh, police in Pennsylvania are itching to find out who put bed bugs in the men's changing room of a local Walmart, but so far the investigation is just scratching the surface. Uh, th- <laughs> things started getting buggy on Thursday when employees at the uh, Edinburgh Walmart, not in Scotland, but in uh, Pennsylvania. Apparently, there's an Edinburgh. Oh, in so Pennsylvania is just yeah. like Ohio. Oh, well, it's the We're Pennsylvania. Like, not, Edinburgh. not that Edinburgh. Uh... Right, right, exactly. Uh, they found a closed pill bottle containing live bugs in a boy's jacket being sold in the clothing department. <laughs> the bottle was thrown out in the trash, according to the Associated Press. However, a day later. A hygiene services contractor contacted by Walmart found bug bed bugs crawling around in the men's, men's fitting room. On Saturday, another Walmart employee found another closed pill bottle with several dead bugs on the floor of the men's department, according to ABC News. Uh, Pennsylvania police have been dusting the bottles for ping- fingerprints, and employees are reviewing store surveillance video to see who might be bugging the store. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I bet that person yeah. went to Harvard too. <laughs> you're, yeah, you're really out for the Ivy League, aren't you? You're just re, you're just, just gunning for them. Right I had to go to OSU. Yep. I had to go to Wright State. I don't want to hear. So. <laughs> I had to. That was all I could do. And, and, it's that cheap tuition. <laughs> right, right. Now the number one suspect would be that uh, environmental services company that you hired. Right, to, mm-hmm. put, to search them out. Yeah, that's why they're in pill bottles. They're planning them. And okay, that's and, that's called job security is what that is. Job security. Yeah, yeah that, that's <laughs> called germ warfare. That's right, that, right. That's, that's, that's why we have Jesse here. He's, he's, he, his, his mind is like one of those those boards full of yarn and string and pictures. He's, yeah, he's connecting all, all, the, all yeah. the dots, putting it all together. Yeah. Angles no, we it's, haven't it's, even it's, been investigating or looking at. Jess is going to crack this case wide open right here on the life. I yeah. doubt that. Yeah. Let's get a phone book with all the inspectors for the area. Yeah, it's all, like, all, all the, the service contractors. Yeah. Russell Crowe, yeah. A Beautiful Mind, meets Cheech and Chong. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Sounds like a that's, sitcom I would watch. That, probably yeah, that actually that's that's sounds, that sounds, sounds like mind. a good movie right there. That's... He's like, <laughs> there'd have to that'd be his investigation sequence, right? Would be we'd it'd be lighting be, up, you know, algorithms on a blackboard. Me <laughs> carry the two. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought about it, but I think it is two people. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Of course. And Detective you're Nutt you're seeing all the, the algorithm is it really is, you know, one plus one. <laughs> yeah. And and ultimately I'm like, like get this. Uh, where's the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Another be, case solved. That's your uh that's like your your fuel. That's your spinach, your scooby snack. <laughs> you know. That's kind of like spinach, I guess. It's, a it's lot the like devil spinach. spinach. <laughs> we, can, like spinach. <laughs> we can we can have so many product tie-ins with that. That's really, that's brilliant. Think about all the snacks for that are great when you're high. Those are all the product tie-ins. Okay, Hollywood. You know what? I feel like I'm just doing their job for them. I don't need no Ivy League education to do your job. Okay, I can. Huh? I know how to this, make. This is how you get hit with the bed bugs. All right, so you're messing with the people and the powerful people now. Yeah, you, yeah, you go yeah, into Target in the changing yeah. room. Bap, they're gonna they're gonna be waiting on you. So yeah. you better watch. You gotta that's watch. what I'm saying. Yeah, gonna Target's got to be shop. next on their list because they're always a Target. Uh, All right, uh, you right. could write these headlines. Yeah, you could be a journalist <laughs> yeah. Too. yeah, I could be just as dumb as them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ivy League educated. Uh, police in Florida uh, There's got Ivy quite a, on the building. I think <laughs> right, there, yeah. right. I saw that's, something on the brick wall. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's just just weeds. And you said Florida. <laughs> yeah. yep. uh, police oh, in Florida go. got quite a go. surprise when hey, they Florida. responded to a call reporting to the sounds of a woman in distress, only to discover it was just an extremely vocal parrot. <laughs> Our deputies in Lake Worth Beach uh, came to the help of someone screaming for help. Uh, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. That's uh, Palm Beach County. I used to live there. Totally understand this. Uh, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office said in a Facebook post on Saturday, hilarity ensued. Uh, quoting the parrot's owner, uh, whose identity was not revealed to the public, the post shared that the man was working on his wife's car in the driveway last week while his parrot, Rambo, sat near the home's entrance singing and talking to himself. Rambo's cries of, let me out, let me out, oh, 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 were so lifelike that a neighbor called the police concerned that a woman was actually in trouble. Wow. <laughs> that is the parrot that belongs to a serial killer actually is what that is <laughs> why else would say they have those words and you know that's i'll look I'll, I'll i'll chalk up the let me out to anything but the oh 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 right uh, yeah, come on let me out is apparently their safe word i think they would find a dungeon yeah but yes. not, uh, <laughs> not the kind that's gonna crack cases wide open why would i not be surprised if that parrot also said get out the gimp <laughs> Get sleeping. Uh, yeah, if they just if they just stayed a little longer, they would have they would have gotten a full story that you could have bought for five ninety nine on Kindle. <laughs> Free for Kindle yeah. Unlimited. Is, is, is that a Fifty Shades? Yes, what the parrot there? saw. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I was trying to buy Fifty Shades of Parrot. I was trying to buy a copy of Little Women, and yes, I do have some romance novels that I have bought. But let me tell you, the sponsored. <laughs> That my boyfriend saw what the sponsored suggestions were for little women, okay? Mm -hmm. it, for grades, for ages 7 to 12, recommended, was, it was all like a billionaire boyfriend series. I don't even like that subgenre, guys. <laughs> That's not even my boyfriend. thing. Billionaire boyfriend. Billionaire boyfriend. And then it had, um, I think one was like Navy SEAL. I think it was Navy SEAL. It was a mashup of Navy SEAL and Billionaire Boyfriend. Yeah, Billionaire Navy SEAL. But it's, it's all like two shirtless oh, men and then a woman and looking like, what? In the in the foreground. And my boyfriend's like, what have you been buying? I'm like, I don't know. I think it's what people who are buying Little Women, because this is sponsored. Yeah, so they also bought. They're like, yeah. what do people buying a children's book from the 1860s want? I know. <laughs> Hot billionaires. <laughs> Slash Navy Seals. Seals. Right, exactly. I want a hot Navy Seal billion. And one was a rock star, what? rock star boyfriend, I think. And I just, it was like, I'm like, what is going? And then one was like Japanese poetry from the Middle Ages. I'm like, what is the algorithm for this? Who, who's making these choices? I'm so confused. <laughs> so the, the Japanese haiku one did say that there's a card game based on it. And I'm like, ah, I understand now. They're like, you're a nerd. We, you're a nerd. we got okay, you. Yeah. 
Uh, They're like, okay, there's a card okay. game based on anything. You could be interested in this. I did become slightly more See? interested when it said there's, there's a, card a card game. game. There's like, a popular oh. card game. I'm like, oh, now I am interested. You have my attention. There should be a card game for like little women. Like like magic, the little they, women, the gathering. Or it's like, like will that. they will, will their father come back from the war? Will <laughs> they, you know, live happily or marry some schlub yeah, that they yeah. will regret for the rest of their lives? Yep, yeah, don't play the schlub card. The schlub card. The schlub card. <laughs> <laughs> well, every deck's got to have a schlub. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh, looks like Meg got stuck with the schlub. You got the schlub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Darn it! Not every again. time. Right. <sighs> and Joe dies alone. No, that's yeah. not what Uno. Happens. Oh wait, but I never uh, read it, so I was going to try to read it. I haven't either. And then I got a, I, I got do. sidetracked by bad. <laughs> yeah, by, by your billionaire boyfriend. Uh, they mostly come at night. Mostly, uh, swarm, <laughs> swarms okay. of drones have been spotted flying across eastern Colorado and western Nebraska, Nebraska, since mid December. Uh, typically between the hours of sunset and midnight. They often fly in groups and travel along seemingly coordinated grid-like paths. On the night of December 20th, uh, the Phillips County Sheriff's Office, along with its counterparts in neighboring neighboring Yuma County, tracked more than 16 such drones. Colorado Governor uh, Jared Polis pledged Thursday to, quote, get to the bottom of the mystery flights and ensure they aren't putting people or property at risk. It's certain they have caused a bit of a stir, he said in a statement. Uh, Polis said he asked the Department of Public Safety to investigate, but that he hasn't yet received any substantial information beyond publicly available reports. Wow. Drones. Okay. Coordinated the, drones. Now, and I think everybody in this room knows my position on marijuana. Right. But this story <laughs> proves legalization in Colorado is not working because everybody involved in that story has better things to do. <laughs> Then waste your damn time looking up, wanting to see are the drones flocking at sunset. Yeah, I think a flock of drones is a pretty good name for this episode. Uh, yes. Flock of drones. Oh, oh yeah, that would be that would flock be like drones, a new wave cover of, band. Yes. That I'm gonna form now. Okay, for the, the flock of seagulls. No, we're a flock of drones. We're a flock of drones. Flock we have drones. A, a just a touch of dubstep. We play a monochromatic kind of tune. One mm. note. Mm. Mm. And, and just one, one part, note at a time. That's part right, of the that's monochromaticness. The, yeah. the messed up part is we could probably sell it somewhere and, and get a record deal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Probably, probably. Sprockets. I'm in on we that could, one. That was a time on Sprockets when we some, dance. We can have Sorry. a SoundCloud trap, <laughs> trap, track, trap. Look, tra- I still I love Sprockets dance. <laughs> love Sprockets. <laughs> See, and that could be Trap Sprocket. Ooh, I like that. See, that could be, we could start that's a whole good. subgenre. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get it a cool name. We're good on SoundCloud. See, if I was on the Twitter, see, we need to get the kids on a Twitter, and they could tweet something about uh, Trap Sprocket, and Mike no, Myers would pick no, up no, on no, it, no, or no. hashtag it, or whatever y'all do. Yeah. We and need we need to get cool. on TikTok. You want the kids. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, see, we got to get on TikTok. Uh, see, I'm, I'm that far I've behind. Gotta, gotta, I'm suggesting gotta Twitter, and it's already got to be on the talk of tick. We got we to gotta, yeah, bribe some children <laughs> to tick and to talk. Tick and talk. To tick and talk. And maybe tack. I don't know. Ricky Ticky. Or Ricky Tiki, <laughs> Ricky Tiki, or whatever and they're doing, we need to get, we need to bribe them. I'm with, just wait, glad uh, to wait, see wait, they're wait, playing old games like that. Uh, uh, Travis, in a wait, Travis way. does the TikTok. He does he the does. TikTok. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a kid. Thirty-some year old man doing TikTok. So, yeah, what's Let's that? Be honest. No, Our album will die. No, we 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 have it. We'll get banned from TikTok. Him dancing, him dancing to our to what was it again? Our trap sprocket. Yeah, <laughs> track. We get hey, we can have Travis do the sprocket dance it, it, to trap music. Yeah, maybe if he see that would be dope. There yeah, maybe go, if he does it go. like he's trying to do it serious and not like a comic, but like like he's he's an over the hill, uh, uh, out of shape guy trying to be a cool kid right. who went to Yale. Who went to Yale? But oh yeah, def- serious. definitely Ivy League. <laughs> <laughs> have the Ivy League in the background, so the producers who are you know who have the power know that we're all in the know, that we're all on the same page, we're all in the same club, right. we're all skulls or whatever we are, skulls Skull and bones. or right, right, right. or uh, trolls uh, or, or, or and whatever, yeah. whatever the whatever their <laughs> yeah, secret I, club was, whatever your lame club is, <laughs> right, right, we. <laughs> 
Never mm. getting elected to public yeah. office. Yeah, we're going to get death threats from I- <laughs> Ivy League. It's going to be the most well-written oh, death threats ever. You know it's coming on station. Oh, I was going to say yeah, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. With absolutely. some Godiva paper. chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> the paper. You've seen American yeah. Psycho. When we Star, get, Star Day is on TikTok. She's when got we get She's back from us. the Hamptons, we're going to kick your butt. <laughs> yeah. that's it. So yes, that's we're going thing. fisticuffs right now. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get we need to get everyone on the TikTok with our traps brockets. <laughs> With I'm our block you. of drones, the right, album see, is going to drop. That's how something creative happens, man. We get Mike Myers to back it. You get a record oh, yeah. deal. Oh, yeah. Boom. It's our ticket out to ghetto. Have, this have, is our new edition you gotta have Bam, like just a, like that. you got to have a genre <laughs> hook. So like Old Town Road, right? It was like, No, nah, hey, we ain't going there, man. We have, like, there, man. we have sort really of like a, a hip-hop <laughs> country thing. And so kids were like, ooh, hip-hop. You know, I got clothes in my closet for that. Country, I got clothes in my closet for that. Bing, bang, boom, I can do a TikTok transform video. That's what we need. We need something like that. Yeah, you and I got to do totally like a gimmick. Change the subject because, yeah, I was, I was music shopping and there's some kind of country song called The Get Up. Yes, I love that song. Okay, y'all like, need to stop. I like dumb All music. Of you I'm need so sorry. I was singing stop. along to Adele, Imagine Dragons, and something else, also embarrassingly not. It's very basic. That's what I was. <laughs> get up. What yeah. is going I on? Get up. I don't know. I was telling a lovely car. story about a yeah, flock of drones. I, gotta, I love to get up though. I got to get my face out of you porn. <laughs> I looked See? up the story. He used to spend, I don't know, his my grandma porn. in Georgia. He used to go <laughs> out to the country and she'd be listening to Johnny Cash and like all the sort of the, you know, outlaw country great and you know <laughs> it's the only country i Drone listen country. to that's how yeah. i know because i'm like i hate all this country i country? hate all you mean like country. keith urban no <laughs> yeah exactly I don't, even, I don't even know what his songs are i only know Me outlaw either, yeah. country apparently is the only thing that's palatable to me and uh, and there the rest, isn't a lot bro country yeah. but and but bleh. no the get up is not country bleh. i don't know what that is i like right? it though i've never heard it's it. fun Me either. Uh, it's fun though about horseback about, well, okay. riding or if hank williams had a stutter during an <laughs> earthquake so like Mel while Taylor. having an embolism that's <laughs> kind of what we're talking about here and throw that a little beat fun. over it yeah, that... okay <laughs> i'm so no, 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 no. it's just stupid it's dumb i want it to stop so it's like a country you. version of mumble rap i don't yeah it is, it is just okay, okay. <laughs> Look, a little bit a little bit one of the worst things about 2019 for me was auto tune okay it's it you you all have taken it to the next level okay it needs to stop but anyway we've got uh, see, i can't, it's just, but I I'm can't sorry. tell if he's being serious That's okay. or not. We, no we, i mean seriously <laughs> like i've looked i've like what other tricks has this guy got this is weird this is different I'm like, but I'm always here for weird and different, you know? You like I mean, I like different. comedy and an open mic. What is it? I'm, but weird and different most of the time. Not always funny, but I'm always up for going off on tangents because that started with a story about drones. <laughs> but but here's the thing. And he has, here's where we I can't tell if he's to, being serious. Yeah. There's something like, uh, it was like, what was it? It was like whiskey and champagne. And he's like, like I drove my truck. I'll, I'll always got to have a truck. House, yeah. And it's like, we just, it's like we'd go together like whiskey and champagne. And it's like, <laughs> it's like, are you being, it's like the most on the nose, like, I'm going to write a country song. No. What is the most country song? Like, <laughs> driving away in your truck. You just broke up your girlfriend because you just, you're just from two different worlds because you're so country. She's so whatever. Oh, Tennessee whiskey, that's what it is. I'm sorry. Tennessee okay, whiskey okay. and champagne. Because it always plays after right. I listen to Get Up, and I'm like, I guess it's not as fun as the dumbness of Get Up, but it's, <laughs> I like, I, I used to, but I was there for like the country boom of like, what was it, the early, late 80s, early 90s, Achy Breaky Heart, I learned how to uh, line Billy dance. Billy Ray Cyrus. And I, great I song love writer. it. It's dumb. Great songwriter. Well, it's wonder. great. It's so much fun. <laughs> And and honestly, I didn't Friends even. Friends in low places. Love. I will Garth sing Brooks. on I the top of my Garth lungs. Brooks. I'm not even like about that life, Garth but Brooks I love that singer. song. Yeah, good singer, good song, right? Love but all Garth the country Brooks. day sucks. I don't know what is going on. I just oh, I'm yeah, sorry. you know, kids today they well, just like, don't. You're right. You like country, and I'm like, it sucks. I can't. I, I don't want to say I hate a genre. That's always my thing. I feel like you can always find something you like. I don't know. But it's like know. sometimes they try you. They really try oh, yeah, your they push you. <laughs> goth opera has really pushed me to the limit. So I, goth tell me, opera? Tell me about some goth opera. Goth opera. I, I literally just made that up. So, or... I'm sure it's oh, out there. I'm sure if there really? I hope I just made that up. Niche, what scares weird me niche is if we Google yeah. goth opera and there's Repo already the something. Is Repo the Musical a goth opera? All right. Repo the Musical. See? 
There is nothing new. <clears throat> Goth opera singer. See? Andrew DeLeon. Ah! Are you kidding? Returns to America's yeah, Got Talent. See? For goth opera. There wow. it exists. He's putting it together. Absolutely. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. I'm telling you, coming this it's, fall. Oh, goth, goth opera is a Doctor you, Who Detective novel. Nut is on the I am, case. I'm comedy Detective Rain Nut. Man. That's a, he asks the yeah, obvious yeah, questions. Nobody's yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah the definitely goth opera. Drowned. Drowned. Makes. Drowned. Yeah. How do you get from drones to goth opera? I don't know. Yeah, we'll take the path. We'll take I don't the, know. We'll take this other twisty path. Apparently, America's Got Talent. Yeah. yeah See? There you go. There, there you go. go. There you go. I mean, they like they like very operatic, like and next, the clothes on the mass singer. Eighteen, you know, the the eighteen hundreds, and they're all about that retro, like retro. Yeah, so that's retro. like steampunk goth opera. Yeah, that's, yeah, it kind of yeah. makes sense. And some of them, some of them can sing. I, again, I guess I'll say that for country. I've listened to some of the pop reviews, and they say that a lot of the better singers, the girl singers, the ladies right now are holding it up. They they are they actually really good singers. So a lot of times when they need a good singer on a where it's you know some Swedish producer or whatever. They'll they'll get a country singer from America because they're the ones who actually have the experience. But there's hmm. no good country music apparently, and they don't put women on the air. I guess on the stations. They're trying. They're like bros. <laughs> of all about. I like how your ass fits in. Sorry, I love your butt fits in those jeans. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it as it drives away in the truck. And you're like, can you even sing? A, you can't sing. B, Trust what me. was that? Look. <laughs> country y'all are suffering same way hip-hop suffering uh, right now it's just uh, you just gotta be patient stuff in hip-hop though right you just now. gotta be patient there's i mean there's still stuff. there's, there's good, still really great music is, coming out there's still great pop music it's still great country hip-hop music, is sustaining but, us right now pop is sad uh, country is sad there's there's always trash there's always trash you gotta like <laughs> sift through the trash of popular music to find some gems or find something fun i'll just settle for fun again we've established this it can be dumb as hell as long as it's fun. Yeah, that right, 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 right. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds like. But there's some that have no hooks. There are songs that have no hooks, no charisma, no hooks, like no nothing's hooks, going yes. on. And I'm just like, what is this? Why is this on the radio? I don't hooks, understand. Hooks. There's so the many people. It's the following. If they got a big following, they'll put anything on there. Right, come on. Like if Boop. you're the song this Capaldi kid and it has no hook, it's just like. I'm I'm a terrible boyfriend. Wasn't there a song? Years <laughs> Everything's ago, terrible. Where it was it Gucci Gang? It the Gucci Gang, and Gucci all they gang, said Gucci, for like Gucci a minute, gang. Gucci, gang, Gucci, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Wait, Gang. And I, I kept hearing this, and people would tell <laughs> me about this song, song, and they were like, "Oh, it's really it's a amazing. popular song." Yeah. And, and I'm like, "Okay, what are the lyrics?" Is they just say Gucci Gang over and over and over? Yeah. I'm yeah. like, "You're an idiot if you paid TikTok to hear fans. that song." TikTok. TikTok. So kind of like Gangnam Style. <laughs> but if it's like 30 seconds, if it's like 10 seconds on Gangnam. a TikTok where you're just like Gucci Gangnam. Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Yeah, I don't know, know where that one came from. I need. think Ellen brought that one to yeah. the well, we, we got about a. Yeah, but that's such a fun song. We got it's less than a minute left. Fun. So if you guys have any social media you want to throw oh, yeah. out there, anything you want to say, oh, uh, I you know you can't give us time on recruit, your show. <laughs> you want to recruit people for. Uh, you want it so you can make this a slightly more regular thing, right? You want writers, you want any directors who want to shoot. Any, actors, camera like people. skits, ads, actors, actors, people. Actors, people, actors, people, people. people who show up on who will show up on time. Yeah, show up show and up on and time. Up. Show and, up and, and on that time. are actors. Hmm, that's a tough order. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. This is a Hail Mary pass here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Life, anything, anything. That's All the right. hardest thing about it. Well, if you guys if you guys want to stick around and talk about Shemp Howard. That's that's what's going on in the next hour of the show. We're going to have uh, Jeff Dale on uh, calling in to talk about his uh, book he's writing about Chimp Howard of the Three Stooges. I wish I could stay, but I will add this. We'll get the filthy lucre, the moolah, the gators. No slippery guiding slip is ever going to beat us. A zoo, a za, a zo. Let's peace out, Shemp. Shemp was the boy. Wow. He was killing it back in the day. But I can't stay. But, yeah, I love that. I, I hope the book does well. Because Shemp is is a, a, an icon in physical absolutely, comedy. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and should be celebrated. So. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and take our uh, top of the hour break. Uh, Jesse, uh, Keith, thanks for coming in. It's, Thank it's you for having It's been a pleasure as brother. always. And uh, we will be back here shortly with uh, Adrian will be back with us. And we'll have right. uh, Jeff Dale on the phone. Yeah. 
Thanks for listening to the Life Radio Show podcast. Check it out wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember, if you want to listen live, we are on Tuesdays from 7 to 9 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM. You can also stream the show live at WWSU1069.org, and we go Facebook Live at the Life Radio Show's Facebook page. If you have suggestions or comments, feel free to email the Life 1069 at gmail.com. Overwhelms me. A brutal presence. Let me out, let me out. Oh, oh, oh.